Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share and press that notification bell. And today guys, it's Newcastle United 1 and Manchester United 4, 3 points, 3 points today guys. Absolutely happy for the result in terms of the performance. I could say that after the last 15 minutes, the performance was fantastic and great because we managed to score three extra goals. But in that first 70 minutes, guys, the performance, I was wondering where was the performance because it was boring. It was boring at times, you know. I don't want to be, oh, I've ruined Spice, you are too negative. But I have to look at everything in a whole as a whole aspect. The whole package, you know, the whole package wasn't that great, you know. That 70 minutes, I was wondering, where is the football? Where is that constructive way of playing going forward? Attacking phases, where is that? Where's the passing? Where's, every, where's the creativity? It was missing at times. But apart from that, we did well in the last 15 minutes, to last 10 to 15 minutes, where he threw on Paul Pogba, Van der Beek, and everything started to work. And to, uh, creativity was coming from that midfield. Well, apart from that, I, I have to say I was pleased. But guys, let's not get what's it called um, carried away. I am still only going to social out as well because at the end of the day, the performance as a whole wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. And look at just, just look at the way the match started as well. Just look at the way the match started. 1-0, conceding an own goal by Luke Shaw within the first two to three minutes of the game. A horrible way to start the match. And I know all of you guys was thinking it. Even Oli was thinking it. Like, he knew as soon as we conceded that goal, it was Oli out trending on Twitter straight away in your mind. You he was there thinking, that's it. That's it. He needs to go. He needs to go. But Oli, God saved you today. But let, 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 let's not get carried away. He's sacking his pending. He will get sacked. He knows he will get sacked because at the end of the day, the package as a whole isn't that great. It wasn't eye-catching, it wasn't entertaining. Conceding a goal in the first two to three minutes from poor defending and the guy's not waking up. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. And the warnings were there. But luckily, luckily, we equalised with Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire redeeming, it, redeeming himself. Good on you, mate. Good on you. But you shouldn't have been playing. Should have been dropped. But yep, yeah, Oli made the right call today because we won. We won four one at the end of the day. So we can't just say, "Oh, Harry Maguire should not start," because at the end of the day, he got the results. Certain players did stop, raise a few eyebrows. Daniel James as well. Juan Mata, mm -mm, it's a bit 50-50. Some, some would have liked it to see him start. Some would have liked to not see him start and see Donny Van der Beek start. I was wondering where was Mason Greenwood. But then again, we won. Can't complain about the, the absence of Mason Greenwood. That first half was absolutely poor because at the end of the day, Newcastle had better chances and we wasn't creating too much chances. Um, although Harry Maguire did equalise and we did equalise, but it was an offside goal. But then again, Harry Maguire equalised from a set piece. Glad to see a set piece go in. Glad to see a set piece go in. It made me happy. But nevertheless, it was a poor first half. And just about when you thought that, okay, we this look, match looking like we're going to equalise and it might not be a great result for us. Bruno Fernandes out of nowhere comes out with a penalty where, where Marcus Rashford was fouled. But guys, that wasn't a penalty. That was not a penalty. In my opinion, I thought it was a bit too harsh, but hey, Beggars can't be choosers right now. I'll take anything. We are scrapping for crumbs and food right now. Right now, we're that guy that will, will have a fight with a beggar on the street for a piece of bread because we are hungry as well. And Bruno Fernandes missed. He missed. He missed. I don't want to hear it from any one of you guys that keeps on calling him Bruno Fernandes because he missed. He showed he was human. He missed the penalty. Shocking. Shocking. But that doesn't mean he should stop taking penalties. He is our penalty taker. And we, we want him to continue taking penalties. And then you will think that Bruno Fernandes missing the penalty will lower his confidence. But no, 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 it did not. It did not. It only made his confidence stronger. And that's what we like as a character for Manchester United. Scoring 
the second goal, making it 2-1. Marcus Rashford with the assist. Wonderful play by Marcus Rashford to assist Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes slotting it in the top, uh, top right-hand corner. Wonderful finish. Wonderful finish by Bruno Fernandes. And then boy, oh boy, oh boy. Marcus Rashford on fire with the assist. Another assist setting up. Guess who? Aaron Wan-Bissaka to score his first goal. And I have to say I'm delighted for Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Spider-Wan, great goal. Great run. You know, you know. One, one, one up there to go against Trent Alexander-Arnold, you know. Just so that um, the England manager can recognise. But apart from that, I've heard that uh, Aaron Wan-Bissaka changed his flag from England to Congo. Whether he's going to be representing Congo for international matches, we don't know. But it will be interesting. And then making it 4-1, my man of the match today, Marcus Rashford, getting set up by Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes from a long distance. Marcus Rashford latching onto that ball, finishing it brilliantly, brilliantly. And Marcus Rashford had a fantastic game. Fantastic. Fantastic game. Ah, you couldn't even complain about that, guys. Two assists and a goal. Marcus Rashford, are you telling us that you're slowly coming back? Did you hear my complaint last time? And said, you know what? I've always spice. Man's tired of you talking trash about me. I'm going to show you who's trash today. And it ain't going to be me. Because at the end of the day, I'd be calling him Rash Bandicoot, Trash Bandicoot, Trashford. Everything in the book that you can think of. Because at the end of the day, I love that guy. And I want to see him develop and become one of the best players in the world. It's all love for Marcus Rashford. I just want the best for him. But yes, making it 4-1, winning the game 4-1, I have to say I've got to be pleased with the results. But the performance as well is also alarming because the first 17 minutes wasn't that great, guys. Guys, there were signs that we need to improve. Still to this day, Oli out. Oli out, guys. If you think that oh, this is a, a good win for Oli and um, to keep him in the job, no, that shouldn't be the case. Um, he still, his ass should be still on the fire because we have PSG. We got Chelsea next and we got Arsenal next and we got Leipzig. As well, all those fixtures, we will see how good Oli is. And if he doesn't win these games, you gotta point your fingers, get your bags, pack your bags, send him, send his marching orders, bro. You need to go, you need to go. But guys, overall, we can enjoy the rest of the weekend. You know, you know, what a good night for it to end, especially Saturday. Seeing, seeing Liverpool drop points and seeing, um, seeing Arsenal as well drop points, Man City winning as well. It, it meant that we had to win. And also Chelsea dropping points. We didn't want to end the night. A wonderful night. Can you imagine having a lovely dinner with your wife? And it ends up with you guys arguing. That would That's exactly how it would have been if Manchester United lost. A night of you guys arguing with no sex. No sex. You'd be pissed off sleeping. Because why? After having a lovely night, lovely dinner, you know, after watching all that good football. Boom. Arguments. But yeah, that wasn't the case today, guys. So us Manchester United fans, Man United fans, we can enjoy it tonight. We can enjoy the weekend. Going into next week, we have PSG. Good result, fantastic result. And let's move on straight to the man of the match today, Marcus Rashford. Marcus, brilliant guy. Brilliant, brilliant performance today. I absolutely enjoyed your performance. At times, you thought you were Zlatan Ibrahimovic, having standoffs with players as well, and then making the wrong decision. But you made two assists and scored a goal. So it's kudos to you. I can't complain about that, guys. I don't know what you guys thought about Marcus Rashford if he was the man of the match. Let me know if you think that he was your man of the match because he certainly was mine. And my dunk of the match has to go to Daniel James. I don't know where he was today. His decision-making was poor. I keep telling Daniel James, you need to go and study and get clever. Go and read some more books to increase that level of creativity. You know what? Read some William Shakespeare, you know? If you want to improve your creativity in literacy on the pitch, you know? You know, you need to be that, like I said before, if you read more and you and you improve your creative um, imagination, your brain, uh, you'll be able to tell better stories with your feet. Better stories with your feet. And decision-making and creativity will be up there. But no, my friend, Daniel James, DJ, you're not doing it, you're not cutting it. But there are times to improve. But you know, we've signed two new wingers. So you need to get to recognise that your ass is also on fire, my brother. Player ratings and manager ratings. The player ratings, I'm going to go straight through it. We've got David De Gea, seven. Good. And one Bissaka was prepped for today. Got a goal today. 
was good defensively. I'm going to have to give him an 8. Lindelof and Maguire will get a 7 because I believe they were just above average. Nothing special from the both of them except for that Maguire scored a goal. Luke Shaw conceding that goal and then doing well in the second half. I thought he had a poor first half. I'm going to have to give him a 7 too. Fred and McTominay will also get a 7 just for having an average performance. Nothing special. And you have your winger, one matter, absolutely in incredible today. Um, link up play with Bruno Fernandes. Going to have to give him an eight. Bruno, eight. And also um, Daniel James, number six. You know, he's going to get a six because he was poor. He was poor, but man in the match day, nine. Marks Rashford, thought he was amazing today um, in terms of everything that he's done. Um, two assists, one goal. What can you say? In the absence of Mar um, Martial, he did really well. And the manager rating today, Oli. Six. Six. I, I, I believe it's the players that won you the game. The quality of the players that won you. Not your tactics. Not your way or, or style of playing football or going forward. You know, just, just nothing that you've implemented work today, you know. It's just the fact that you have credible players, good players as well, that we managed to win the game. Apart from that, you're going to get six, my brother. You, you, you wasn't that great, you know. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Guys, remember... We've won. We got PSG next. Just keep on going, guys. We we, we we can do more. We can do more. We can improve. But that will only happen once we get rid of the manager. You know? I want to see the best of Oli as well. I want him to improve. I want him to improve. I want him to look at himself in the mirror and say, Wake up! Wake up, Oli! Who are you? Stop playing Oli gonna freestyle all the time and play that Oli gonna show show football that we've never seen and we don't know about. Because at the end of the day, if you don't, your your end is coming. Your end is coming. Anyway, guys, remember to smash that like button. Subscribe. Let me know who's your donkey of the match. Let me know who was your man of the match. Let me know what your what you thought of today's match. And of course, again, remember to keep it united and keep it red united. And remember to follow the socials. I'm out.